I feel like we, we haven't sat down and just chatted in a while. Well, things have been pretty busy around here. The museum has gotten a lot of new residents, and as a result, more guests. More people to meet. Everyone has been so nice, though the new Tomcats have been a handful. Yeah, can we talk about that first? What the heck was Tabitha thinking? Well, we've all done extreme things for family, though I admit just up and stealing a quarter of a foreign power's air force is a bit much. Impressive that she got away with it. I mean, it's Iran. What are they going to do? Make thinly veiled threats and shake their fist at the sky? According to Miss Spectre, that's pretty much exactly what they did. Oh, did you talk to Azriel about it? Well, when Katerina mentioned all the paperwork, I decided to volunteer some time to help Miss Spectre sort through it all. She's done a lot for us. I figured it was the least I could do. That was sweet of you, Freya. Miss Spectre was eternally grateful. Bought me a nice steak dinner on the company's dime. Who is keeping track of all the Tomcats anyway? It's a bit odd for any museum to have more than one example of a particular plane, let alone 42 of them. At first, the director told Tabitha that they were her responsibility, since it was kind of all her fault. But quickly he realized that Tabitha's organization skills were pretty terrible on account of her being a cat. Fortunately, someone else volunteered to handle them. Volunteered? Who would... Oh. Vera? Vera. 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 It's Vera. No, no, bad kitties. Do not touch that. And you two stop fighting. I said no, Mr. Hans. Don't let these girls push you around. Assert your dominance, my son. She's been keeping most of them in Hangar D. Some other museums have expressed interest in adopting some, but Tabitha won't allow it without inspecting the new homes herself to ensure her family will be safe. It is good that she cares so much, though, despite the whole major international incident thing. She's a good sister, no question. Speaking of uh, sisters and issues with them, how's Skylar been? I heard things got pretty rough. Yes, they did. It was bad. But I think she's recovering. She's been in her room a lot, but that's only because she's been playing video games with Henrietta. Wait, really? Indeed. The new girl, Sila, thought Skylar needed a healthy outlet to distract herself. I guess she settled on video games. Well, it's certainly better than drinking. Ellie told me Skylar was plastered the other day. But now she's having fun. She deserves it. Oh no, he did not just say that. Skylar, it's all right. Please don't get on the public voice comms. Listen to me, you piece of Oh dear. You ever say get back in the kitchen to any woman again? I'll rip off your tiny and jam it so far up your it'll exit out your eye socket, you little guzzling faced Okay, I think that's enough. I'll nuke your house from orbit. I'll watch you bleed out from your charred, you limp worm. I think I'm going to faint. But what about you, Gisela? You went on a little adventure. Heard you saved your cousin. Oh yes, Reyna helped me out with that one. Glad I was able to bring Adelheid back here. She's been settling in well. I bumped into her yesterday. I never met her during the war, but she seems very nice. What happened with her former owner? Given he was, well... Yeah, he's in prison probably going to stay that way. I'm actually quite proud of my country. Considering our history, it's nice that in the modern day, Germany is probably the worst place to be if you're a member of that particular political group. I mean, there's also Israel. Okay, well, that's a given. How did Adelheid fare against Regina's makeover? Oh, she hasn't had one. Wait, really? How has she evaded her this long? It's funny, Adelheid is deceptively agile. Is she? I remember her family being powerful, but a bit on the clunky side. We exploited that weakness heavily. Her older sisters were, but Adelheid is an F2. She has more powerful engines and can outfly even me in certain maneuvers. Regina's been trying to catch her for a makeover, but Adelheid has turned the whole thing into a bit of a game. This is outrageous. How dare you deny the glorious treatment that beauty can bestow? I think I look lovely, thank you. Yes, but you could look even better. Come back here. Nope, not happening. Give up! Accept the futility and bow to beauty. Not, nah, don't think so. Resistance is futile. Well, at least she's having fun with it. Has Penelope been okay? Oh, she is much better. Dr. Yumi had her vacation, and Penelope has the ghosts of her sister and daughter watching over her. Ha, funny. I assure you I'm quite serious. Heidi told me. Wait, so there's two ghosts following Penelope wherever she goes? Poltergeists, actually. Apparently they were responsible for most of Penelope's clumsiness this whole time. That sounds ridiculous in most contexts. But for us, it sounds fairly normal. I mean, Ophelia has her daughter's spirit with her, too. I said stop throwing stuff! 
You're going to scare the guests! Penelope, what in the world is happening? I don't know. They just started tossing things over here and oh, oh look, a penny! And hey, they stopped! They must have just wanted to make sure I didn't miss the penny! Penelope, some of this stuff is worth thousands of dollars. They can't just throw it over a penny. You hear that, you two? No more throwing expensive things for pennies, only cheap stuff! No! No throwing anything for a penny! Our lives are never going to be normal, are they? This is our normal.